Pace Studio on the road. We're live in Atlanta at the Sweetwater Brewery right now with Paul McDonald. Paul, it's excellent to see you again, man. Thank you so, for doing this. So good to see yeah. you. So good to see you. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. yeah, we are. Back in this wonderfully echoey canyon of a room, and you've been filling it up uh, beautifully, and I cannot wait to hear a lot of your music, man. Thanks. There's four songs coming Thanks up. Two of them are from Modern Hearts and two brand new songs, which I believe were premiering right now. Right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. Like we, do, we, do this, we do this every time, I feel like. It's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so this this first one is a song called New Lovers. It's uh it's off the album Modern Hearts that uh that just recently got re-released overseas. So uh get to keep playing these songs uh a few more years and a few more, you know, shows. So uh, this is this is the first song on the record and uh it's it's still one of my favorites. Uh it goes like this. <laughs> It don't make no sense It don't have to, baby Yeah, when it feels like this I can hear your heart Beating on top of mine We're on the same wave now Yeah, we're running on the same time Yeah, and I want to get high For the first time in a long time I'm feeling alright And I wanna get stoned Off that look in your eyes It say I never let go I give all my life Just for a moment with you Doing all the things That new lovers do Thank 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, man. Dude, it sounds so good in this room. I hope that you're having as much fun playing this music oh, and singing gosh. it as we are listening to it. It sounds so good in here. Yeah. 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 Um, man, can we talk a little bit about your history with Sweetwater? I was, I overheard, yes. I, I missed all of the details. I just barely heard it, but I heard, was it your first show with, with some band was at this brewery? Was that <laughs> the, the, the crux if, of it? If, if we really want to go there. Yeah, no, no, yeah. not necessarily <laughs> not the details. <laughs> I heard that part, but the, uh, uh, just your history with this brewery. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. One of my, one of my first bands, or I, I guess the first band I was ever in was a, a group called High Tide Blues. And, um, we were based out of Auburn, Alabama, and we were kind of touring the college circuit for years just playing uh whatever for college fraternity sorority party house concert wherever and we'd come through atlanta all the time and we'd play peachtree tavern we'd play smith's old bar andrews upstairs just every place we could play that was back when we were doing like sharing bills with zach brown where it was like jaegermeister presents you know <laughs> like at peachtree tavern like yeah. that kind of stuff uh but we played a gig at, at sweetwater brewery and this was back when our band was doing like four hours sets and so we do like you know we'd have to be doing half covers half originals back in those days and so uh yeah it was a good times man i mean there's there's a little bit more to the story but i, <laughs> but I, I think it's like it kind of kind of turns a little nc17 or yeah, something so yeah, yeah. Uh, we can keep that one <laughs> offline if you want to yeah just rock and roll stories man but i but i remember last time i came in here i was like man this was like a that was a crazy show and here i am again you know 10 years later or something like that so yeah yeah. Have you found yourself during the pandemic? Did you kind of return to that style of touring at all? Like just doing house parties in people's backyards and stuff like that? Because that's the only Absol safe thing. Absolutely, man. I mean, to uh, yeah, that was kind of uh, last time we saw each other. I, I was I was here with a with a big band of folks, and I had kind of just got off a tour uh, as a support act, you know, traveling around. And I and so I, I was kind of momentum was moving, and I was like, I'm about to buy a new Sprinter van. I bought a new van with seats for you know five guys to ride with and then all of a sudden everything shut down and I thought oh my gosh I just bought this expensive van I got to find a way to pay it off and uh so I reached out to folks on you know just on social media and said hey I'm if anyone wants to do some house parties this is strange times right now and maybe this is the time to do it and and I went this past summer me and my girl and we we travel and the dog and traveled around and saw all the national parks and uh and played house shows along the way paid off the van it was kind of amazing yeah, it was man. like you know the big cool touring where you're playing all the big rooms and stuff is really cool too but playing house shows it's so personal and you connect with these folks on such a different level and uh and everyone's just really excited for you to be there and they want to feed you they want to like shower you with gifts and booze and all the <laughs> things and so i was like man this is kind of nice you know uh maybe i'll start doing more of this but uh, then, then the world's starting to slowly open back up, and you know, real, real club shows and stuff are opening back up, and it's good to support the local venue, you know, the, the yeah. venues and stuff. So I'm happy to be back doing that, you know. Well, hey man, we are. There's no reason to stop being showered with food and booze because there is <laughs> yeah, catering upstairs, yeah, yeah, and yeah. there we're literally surrounded by probably millions of gallons of <laughs> booze right now. Plenty, plenty of, of booze. Thousands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, dude, this sounds great. And we're only one song into a four-song cool. set, man. We're cool. gonna do a brand new one next, right? It's a brand new one, and this is this is only like really a few weeks old, so uh, it has potential to just not be very good. You know, you guys can tell <laughs> me. I, I'm still kind of testing it out, but um. It's a song called Dark Side, and the whole idea was uh, after the pandemic, um, I think a lot of us just got in our, our own heads, and it was kind of a, a very depressing time for me personally. It was a work got pulled and all this, and I thought, man, wouldn't it be nice to write a song whenever those kind of negative thoughts and that kind of stuff comes in your brain to just kind of block it out? And uh, So it's a song called The Dark Side, but it's about... Uh, you know, sticking to the light and stand, trying to stay positive no matter what... Uh, no matter what the circumstance is, I guess, man. So it's a brand new one. I've been up all night getting drunk, getting stoned. I feel so lost. I feel so alone. What's the point? What's the point? It just costs too much to be living this life I'm tired of being broke I'm tired of being tired I'm over it I am over it I have thrown away So many days Please in the flesh And I'm in the 
pain I wanna be free So long, so long to the dark side Man, so uh, what are some of the things that you do in life in addition to songwriting and playing music and spreading peace and joy yeah. and unity to people at your shows? What do you do in your personal life to be sure that when dark thoughts inevitably do come along that you don't dwell on them and you do move on and stay and stay as healthy as you can be? Oh my gosh, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a process. I'm constantly working through it, you know, and it's... Uh, Spending time in nature has it's been really good for me uh, over the pandemic and stuff. And then, uh, um, yeah, also it's kind of tapping into meditation and uh, and been reading a whole lot of self-help books, breathing exercises, just a lot of things where I got to a point where I was like, I was drinking and partying just nonstop and continued to go down uh, during 2020. And I was just going, man, I, maybe I should take a step back and just kind of see like what... Uh, this clarity can look like if I actually like try to feel the emotions that I've been kind of hiding with other stuff. And um, so, yeah, I've just kind of actively been trying to love myself for the first time ever, man. And it's a, uh, it's easier said than done, you know, cause I, I feel like I'm, I'm always in my head and, uh, and you know, there's all kinds of things being thrown at us to put us in that negative space. But I figured if I, if I had a song like this and I sang it every night, then it would just be like a reminder, Hey, you know, we're still alive. It's okay. Everything's, everything's all right. You know? Yeah. So like the pat, my last record was a lot of heartbreak songs and sad, depressing stuff. So I was like, I got plenty of those in the set now. Now I need some uplifting, positive tunes to kind of get folks excited. And, uh, and just, and that's, that's my job moving forward with my music is just to bring like joy to folks, peace, joy, the whole, that's just like, let's do that. You know, life is too short. So I'm trying to kind of, you know, 
write more positive tunes uh, for the first time ever in my life. Yeah. Nice. Well, dude, I yeah. can identify with all that, man. Um, it's, I mean, the, the pandemic was for people who were drinking too much and then continue to do that. Oh, like, yeah. That was not a time to celebrate anything. Ooh. And I went the other direction to stop drinking for like three months, Amazing, which was the right move then. Yeah. That didn't continue. I mean, where I'm definitely drinking beers now and oh, enjoying yeah. it because it's the right time of, to do of it. Course. Of but course. But started Transcendental Meditation also. I did my 20 minutes this morning. Beautiful. And it, it clears a lot of mental space in order to be present for, for this during the day. Absolutely. That, that's a... Uh, and yes, I, I agree completely with that. And that's on the road, it's harder to do. Also, exercise is a big thing. I started doing kickboxing uh, back when I was at home for a while, and that helped as well, kind of just. But transcendental meditation is, yeah, that's when I get home, that's where I'm, I'm kind of hopping back into that zone. It's been hard living in the van the past few months. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's like I'm excited about December because I'm going to be home for long enough where I can kind of have some kind of, uh, schedule where I can like actually make time for these things and you know I'm excited about it yeah nice man well dude we're excited to have you here with us today um, it sounds great so far and we're only halfway through there's still one more brand new one and one, one more from Modern new. Hearts coming up uh, what do you feel like doing third today man let's uh, this is another brand new one and this is a song um, I wrote this tune uh, I guess once again during the pandemic and uh, and I kind of I say, I say this every time uh, kind of leading into it, uh, there was a chapter, uh, I guess a season during the pandemic where I was writing a bunch with my buddy Brian Elmquist. Uh, he's at a band called Lone Bellow uh, out of yeah. Brooklyn. They're now, now they're all in East Nashville, guys. I rode a mechanical bull with Brian right oh, after man. Brian, actually, yeah. in Minneapolis. We yeah. weren't on at the same time. Dude, he's a trip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and just a genius, man. Just constantly uh, spitting out. The dude has so many song ideas. And, and for some reason, we got paired up and we started writing together and working together. And... Um, he had access to this beautiful church um, in East Nashville uh, on Gallatin with stained glass windows. And there was this over a hundred year old grand piano. And whenever we get together to write, it was during all this pandemic where the news was going crazy. And, um, and I'd never written songs in a sanctuary before. And we had access to kind of a room where it's like anything you sing sounds good because of the reverb is so, so cool. And, uh, and we just started talking about, uh, you know, what would we kind of want to say um, if, if it all did end tomorrow. And, uh, and we wrote this song called Forgiveness. It's just about forgiving all the people that had, uh, you know, kind of put you in a bad place throughout your life and also forgiving yourself for all the things that you've done wrong and just kind of wiping it all clean and saying it's all good. And uh, that's another one of those songs where it's like, I, I needed this for my own mental health. And so singing it every night reminds me to go back to that place. But, uh, but I wrote this one with Brian. Uh, it goes like this. Stay or go, either way you lose. And I will go, either way you choose. But I could never hold you tight enough. So fly on to the blue sky. You were free as a dove Forgiveness Don't let the past bind you Turn that little light on I pray that it finds you And you will get it When you least expect it Sweet forgiveness Yeah, one day, love, I won't break your heart And meet you just right where you are You won't ever have to be this hard So fly on to the blue sky You are free from the stars Forgiveness don't let the past find you Turn that little light on I pray that it finds you And you will get it When you least expect it Sweet forgiveness I 
I hope you realize that I always want the best for you But I always knew I could never have the rest of you Into the blue Forgiveness Don't let the past find you Turn that little light on Sweet forgiveness Don't let the past bind you Turn that little light on I pray that it finds you And you will get it When you least expect it Sweet forgiveness Thank you, Paul. Thank you, guys. So I know that uh, music is is one of the ways that your creativity expresses itself. There, you also yeah. have access to other avenues. You're a visual artist as well. Um, okay. I've seen the recent pictures. I think the one that we used for the thumbnail for for this live stream was the one with the, uh, the oh, leaf yeah. in front of your face. Is that uh, was that, is that you creative directing those, That's, or do you hand that, your image off to a photographer oh my, and say oh my do gosh. whatever? Uh, so that actually that image came from. Uh, one of my, my good friends, closest friends, his name's Jason Lee Denton, and we do a lot of our videography together, music videos, and he's been a longtime collaborator friend of mine. So far that he was touring, we had the same manager here in Atlanta, his name was Bo O'Brien, and he, he managed his band, which was called Tesla Rosa, and then my band called High Tide Blues, so we were touring and playing Sweetwater Brewery and Peachtree Tower and all that stuff, like around the same time, probably... 12, 13 years ago, and now he's since moved on. He still plays music, but he is an amazing video director, and uh, he creates films, and he's just this creative genius. So, and he, and we've known each other for so long. So, whenever we get together and collaborate, it always turns into like, "Hey, man, you want to get, you want to get like really weird outside the box?" And I'm like, "Yeah, of course." <laughs> so we immediately just kind of push each other, and uh, and and that was a photo from from that actual music video, a song called "How Long," and it was kind of this psychedelic looking inward almost like Beatles rubber soul s kind of uh thing but we shot it at my buddy's house out he has a cave out on his property it's pretty trippy if you had, if you should look it up how long is the music video but it's a yeah it was a fun one to shoot with him yeah I would imagine dude, everybody needs a cave I think yeah oh my gosh and I don't know if you ever been on a cave before but oh, like yeah. the energy whenever you come out you're like I kind of want to go back in that cave yeah <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of man. peaceful Carlsbad down Cavern. there. It's beautiful. We we'll love yeah, it there. Yeah. Um, we let's see. Yeah, that's that's like the number one fool, fool the number one rule of uh, portrait, portraiture. You don't block the uh, face, no, yeah, you yeah. know. And <laughs> you're thirty percent of your face is obscured. It's wonderful. I, I, I kind of like doing that stuff. It kind of throws folks for a loop, and uh, it's always just been. My music uh, has never really. I, I feel like I'm. It's always. When I used to kind of force it into like a, a certain lane, I would always walk into these meetings and, and, I, and I got used to kind of hearing the same thing every time. Like, we don't really know what to do with you. You're not this genre, you're not this genre. And so I just continue to kind of do my own thing and that means I can get weird and I don't have any rules to follow. And you know, I'm still here doing it. So uh, yep. I'm just grateful to be making music and staying weird, you know? And that, is that the direction, the, the stay weird ethos um, of what is happening with you and new music right now? So I know you're writing and potentially pretty soon getting back into the studio, Absol right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's it's always going to sound like me. And, um, I feel like it, it, my music evolves as uh, just as life progresses. I feel like a lot of this... Um, I was in bands for years, and then because of the pandemic and because of bands falling apart, I've had I've been doing a lot of touring now, just me with an acoustic guitar, which I used to be scared to death of, and now out of necessity and financial reasons, it's like, well, I've got a, I, I still want to play gigs, but I can't afford a band, so I've been doing a lot of just stuff out by myself. So the goal is when I get back, I'm just going to be. Uh, I've written so many songs, so it's, I'm going to start the editing process and kind of chisel through like the best kind of 50 songs maybe, and then 
just do them acoustic vocal, kind of like what we're doing right now, and then shoot those out to a handful of producers that I want to work with. And um, I've definitely got a style and a vibe that I'm pointing it towards. It's going to be real organic and, uh, you know, something that we can listen to, you know, 50 years from now and it still sounds fresh and cool. Like all my favorite records are... You know, Crosby, Stills, Nash, Joni Mitchell, uh, like all those kind of folks from the, uh, like that world. So I want it to kind of fit that energy of just timeless records. And that's uh, working with the right folks that, that really kind of understand you. And um, I don't know, I feel like this is the first time in life where I'm kind of coming to the producer and knowing completely who I am. And I'm just like, this is what I am. How can you lift it up instead of kind of like I'm still I'm still searching man yeah, can you help you me think? what do you yeah, think yeah what do you think oh yeah yeah you you've got all the trophies tell right. me you know now it's kind of like uh yeah just kind of know a little bit more what I want I guess um cool so well man I feel like you could, your music could be plucked out of 2021 and placed in the 70s and you would fit and your glorious hair and your glorious <laughs> beard would fit in the 1970s as well so I think this that, is all this is all from the pandemic you guys have seen me in multiple <laughs> chapters of life as well you know it's like short hair this is like Los Angeles now I just kind of chilled out I'm back in East Nashville yeah right back to who I was uh you know 10 years ago just you know stepped out of the box a little bit and came right back in you yeah know? the East Nashville vibe we, we could pick that up and put it in Laurel Canyon and the vibe would be very oh similar it's just That's, different geography absolutely yeah. absolutely man man well so, thank you for sharing the new ones with us today um we're gonna go back to uh to modern hearts next what do you feel like doing last today this is a song uh, that i wrote a few years ago um but it seems to be one of the uh one of the favorites on the record and it's it's quite possibly the saddest song that i've ever written um but it, whenever i play this in the set it kind of reminds me of how far i've come and where i'm at now in life and uh and that kind of thing but uh it's a song called once you were mine uh, it goes like this. Well, I'm stranger than I used to be. Yeah, I lost my job and my wedding ring. Still got the tattoo where it used to be It reminds me of you constantly I've been thinking a lot, you've been thinking about us I've been thinking how hard it's been giving you up I've been sleeping with strangers and filling my cup Yeah, but nothing I do is ever enough, no, no Hey, you're darling, I'm tired of living with your ghost and walking on wires and trying not to fall. Yeah, my heart is heavy, your voice so cold, and I don't wanna hear it. Once you were mine, you're not anymore. Yeah, and I'm stronger than I used to be. Yeah, at least that's what I'm trying to believe I'll be done with this time, I'll get over this grief I'll get all myself back that you stole from me Hey, yeah, darling, I'm tired of living with your ghost And walking on wires Trying not to fall yeah, my heart is heavy, your voice so cold And I don't wanna hear it Once you were mine But you're not anymore Hey Oh, oh Oh, 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 oh yeah mm. Yeah One of these days I could see in your face In all these empty picture frames You'll be out of my head, you'll be out of my dreams I'll be young, I'll be bold, I'll be wild, I'll be free I'll be young, I'll be bold, I'll be wild, I'll be free Darling, I'm tired You're not anymore So once you were mine 
anymore. Man, thank you very much for uh, for coming and doing this today. Um, I know you were in Decatur last night, right? Played Decatur. in Decatur last yep, night. Are right. you at the end of this leg of the tour? Do this you still is, have? This is pretty much it. Yeah, for this run, I guess. Uh, next week, I just got added on to a thing here, based in a six man uh, a cruise thing. Uh, yeah. And so we're going out to uh, it's a festival called the Rock Boat, and we're going out, you know, uh, to the Bahamas and Jamaica. So I'll be on a boat all next week. And Sweet. Uh, then I'm, then I go on vacation again, going on a honeymoon with my girl over here. We're going to St. Thomas, hey. uh, Virgin Islands. Yeah. First vacation I've taken in years. So that's going to be real fun for us. And then uh, just a handful of gigs sprinkled in before the holidays. But yeah, thanks for having me. Y'all love, I love you guys. I've been a fan for so many years and it's always good to see y'all and you know, yeah. Yeah, man. We love you too. Thank you very much for doing this. Have a great time on all the boats and all the islands and everything. <laughs> and uh, and dude, have a great time uh, in the studio as well as the awesome, uh, as the man. new new music becomes written and recorded. Thank you so much, man. All right, man. We'll yeah. see you next time. Good to see you. Cheers, y'all. All right, man. That's it. Yeah.